Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick and uh, I'm sitting down here in uh, Dallas, Texas. You can see I'm in my car again and traveling around America and, and letting people know about, you know, anti-aging and, and sizzle products. Today on the doctor's call, it's uh, just going to be uh, myself. Andrea can't join us today. And really, uh, my uh, the uh, topic of today's call is uh, vitamin dosing. And it might be a short call, I might not talk very long, so uh, uh, bear with me if, if this is something that you like hearing about. You know, give me the thumbs up, give me the old smiley face, and you know, let us know that you're, that you're there, and, and, and share it up, and let people know. Because I think a lot of people are confused as far as like, what they need to be taken, how much they need to be taken. Um, a lot of people ask, well, why do I need to take more than that guy? Why, why is my dose higher? Why do I have to have a higher dose? So that's what I'd like to cover today. So again, welcome to welcome to the call. And uh, again, my name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick, and, and I'll, I'll, call, I'll talk to you a little bit about these things. And, you know, hi, Rennie. Welcome to the call. Uh, first thing first, you know, when people see... The RDA, the recommended daily allowance, they uh, they see that and they think, well, I don't want to get any more than 100% of the RDA. <clears throat> well, exactly what is the RDA? Hi, Gianni, how are you doing today? This is Lombardi. Welcome from Italy. You know, so let's talk a little bit about that. What is the RDA? What is the recommended daily allowance. Where did that come from? Well, back in the 1950s, they were trying to come up with, uh, you know, kind of a standard. How much vitamins did people need? And so they used a 150-pound Irishman in Boston in 1954. So everything is based off that. If you're uh, than that, if you're less than 150 pounds, you probably need less than that. So that's a good start. Let's look at another thing. They said it was a 150 pound Irishman in Boston in 1954, but it also was based on a healthy 150 pound person. And are you healthy? Well, according to a lot of the, the studies, the statistics, uh, most of us really aren't healthy. Okay, I'm back. For some reason, it, it disconnected me. My internet disconnected me. I don't know what's going on with this internet. You know, hey, Andrea. Welcome to the call. I don't see where I can bring you on, but hang on. Um, maybe I can. No. You have to request to be on, Andrea. Um so what I wanted to say is that if we look at the definition of health, really what is it? Well, if you've ever been burnt, if you've ever had a burn, that includes a sunburn, you're not considered healthy. And, and, and that's most of us. Most of us have had some kind of a burn. So that excludes almost all of us from being on the list of being healthy. If you've ever been on antibiotics, if you've ever been vaccinated, um, you're excluded from the list of being healthy. Uh, that pretty much gets rid of all of us. If you've ever been in any kind of accident, any kind of trauma, um, you're excluded from being healthy. If you've ever been on any kind of medication, that excludes you from being healthy. So according to the experts in the field of health, uh, anti-aging, they really say that uh, it's less than 1% of people who are what we would consider to be truly healthy. So when you look at the RDA, it's the, it's the recommended daily allowance for a healthy 150 pound Irishman in Boston in 1954. It's not 1954, you're not an Irishman, you're not healthy, and, uh, and, and you're not 150 pounds. And so, so really, when we look at the RDA, uh, you might as well throw that out the window. That's just a, a, a guideline that, that's overrated. And so whenever I look at that, um, it's just really a guideline. And, and so uh, the age pill, for example, the age pill, the, the anti-glycation extreme, uh, some people take 18 a day. Some people take 18 a day. And that's where they start to see results. And they say, well, why does Tom recommend six a day if I need 18 a day? Well, here's the deal. 
Are you healthy? Have you ever had anything happen? Do you have any trauma? Do you have any uh, cancer cells that are growing inside of you that you may not know about? Yeah, those are, those, yeah. oh, Andrew, you were born in 1954 and you're Irish. Well, you're not 150 pounds, so it's, you're, you're, not, you're not included in that group either. And uh, anyhow, but so they asked me, why do I need to take more of the, of the age pill? Or why do I need more of this or more than that? Or they look at our vitamins and, and they see that Tom has put, um, you know, 300% of this. And, uh, and they, they, they put, you know, and he puts different dosages in that are higher than the RDA. Well, that's why, because he's a really smart uh, man, he's a real smart scientist, and he knows we're not getting everything we need in our, in our diet. In uh, the 1950s, uh, you could eat a head of lettuce, and today you'd have to eat uh, eight to 12 heads of lettuce to get the same nutrition as that one head of lettuce. So we need more nutrition today than somebody did in 1954, 55. So, so that's that's kind of what I wanted to cover on that. And and then we start looking at different things that are going on in our body. You know, uh, we take a, we take a product like the Age Pill, for example. And uh, and and what does the Age Pill do? Well, it uh, removes glycation. So, if you're a person that's uh, that's lived on uh, donuts and and ho hos and 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 sandwiches and bread all your life, you've got a lot more glycation because uh, that that those carbohydrates, those sugars, uh, you know, and and, and uh, bread turns into a sugar. If you chew it up, you know, at first it doesn't have much of a taste, but you chew it for a while, it gets kind of a sweet taste in your mouth. And uh, and uh, and so when you're looking at that, you might have more glycation depending on your diet. If you've been a person that that eats a lot of a uh, or red meat, you're going to have different uh, 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 byproducts in your system than you would if you had eaten uh, carbohydrates. Uh, and if you're somebody that's been eating bacon all your life, again, different things going on in your body than, uh, than, than other people. So we have to look at that. And that might be the other reason that you need to have um, more of the age pill or, or more of the four restore, uh, more of the, of the different... Uh, uh, nutritional products than, than other people. And then we got to look at exposure to toxicity as well. You know, some areas of the country we know, uh, like go up into Flint, Michigan, uh, and we know from the news, you know, you, 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 drink the, you drink the water there, you're getting a lot of different kinds of heavy metals and uh, get, you're getting chrome, you know, like what we put on bumpers on our hot rods, you're, you're getting that chrome in your, in, in, just from drinking the water. There's a lot of chromium. And, and, and there's uh, lead and mercury and all of that in different areas. So if you have a lot of toxicity, you're going to have a different nutritional need than somebody that's got low toxic load in their body. So again, you know, that, that can change everything. If you're a, a person that drinks a lot of water, you're going to flush your system out a lot better. Some people actually have a higher uh, metabolic rate than other people. And, and that's going to make a difference as well. And so all of these things are really things that you want to uh, think about and, uh, and when, you, when you're taking vitamins. And uh, so, you know, and, and Andrea, I know you, you just wrote on there, yuck, lettuce, no value, eat spinach. But, you know, lettuce does have some nutritional value. It's, it's mostly water. Um, spinach, spinach is good. It's got a lot of different things. But if you're high in iron, you probably don't want to eat a lot of spinach. And uh, arsenic, yeah, we've all been exposed to a lot of arsenic. And, and the thing about arsenic, what does it do? Well, arsenic blocks the zinc finger proteins. And people say, well, what's that? What's, what's a zinc finger protein? And, uh, and uh, arsenic, when it blocks the zinc finger protein, that's the, that's the space, that's the receptor site where zinc is supposed to go. And what does that do? Well, that's part of the healing process. If you've got a cut, if you've got a scrape, um, you need zinc in order to heal up. And if arsenic is sitting in there in the in the in the place where where the zinc is supposed to go, well, then you're not going to heal as quickly. And we're not just talking about wounds, wound healing. Uh, we're talking from even from um, uh, infections and things like that. So arsenic can block that. So you guys brought up arsenic, you know, and and 
And, uh, and I just know about that one because I read about it a number of years ago when I was uh, helping a buddy of mine that had been exposed to high levels of arsenic. So anyhow, you know, I'm going to end the call with that today. I appreciate you all being here. Just a, a quick, short call, 15-minute call today. And uh, get that out. Share it to people. And I think we're going to make it a topic that we're going to talk about all week. Um, we're going to talk about it on different calls. And, and then we're going to talk about um, as, far as, as far as like what happens when you do take higher levels. And we'll get some, uh, we'll get some testimonials on here as well. So thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Enjoy your day after Memorial Day. Bye-bye.